Wow, what's going on, Cardinal Nation? Wow, disappointing loss tonight. We lose in this one of 5-3 to three to the Minnesota Twins as the Twins take 2 of 3 from us. And uh, they scored uh, 4 of their 5 runs in the second inning. And... Well, we had a chance. We brought the tying run to the plate in the ninth inning, but could not capitalize as we come up short 5-3. So, disappointing loss. Uh, Matthew Libertor in this start as he's back with the Cardinals. His first start in about a month was pretty solid, I thought. Uh, five and a third gave up. Five runs, walked two, only struck out one batter, but still, he was pretty solid. So, the Twins would take a 2 nothing lead, two-run home run in the top of the second by catcher Ryan Jeffers, uh, his sixth of the year, to make it one nothing Twins. And then, later in the inning, a second two-run homer by Michael A. Taylor, a former Washington National that would make it 4 to nothing, Minnesota for Taylor, his 15th. So that would make it a 4 to nothing twin sweep. And then we would respond with a run in the bottom of the second, driven by Dylan Carlson. Scoring would be Tommy Edmond. So that would make it a 4 to 1 game. And then uh, 1, 2, 3, 4th and 5th innings from Libertor. And. Uh, the Twins would then put runners on first and second, and then Libertor would walk Castro to load the bases, and that would end his night. And then Drew Verhagen would come in, and he would walk Michael Taylor to force an around and make it a 5-1 game. And then at the bottom of the sixth, Alec Burleson, a solo home run to cut the lead to 5-2. And Burleson was getting the start at first base, Paul Goldschmidt DHing, and Owen Arnauto was not in the lineup, getting, I guess, just a day off. Uh, and Taylor Motter got the start at third. Uh, uh, yeah, Taylor Motter, the start at third, and rookie Jose Fermin got the start at second. So, should be seeing a lot of these young guys uh, getting more uh, playing time with the trades and stuff. So, uh, and then a scoreless eighth inning from Z Zach Thompson. Uh, Thompson added to the active roster uh, recently as well. Uh, and then a scoreless ninth inning from Another who another guy who was caught up, James Nail. So, and then the bottom of the ninth, uh, we would make it a five-three game. Uh, Burleson a leadoff hit. He would then advance to second, and then advance to third on a wild pitch, and then Dylan Carlson with a ground out to cut the lead to five-three, and then Andrew Kisner. Uh, as we were down to our final out, Kisner would reach on an infield hit. So that would bring the time run to the plate and Taylor Motter, but he would strike out. Uh, Taylor Motter does not have a home run this season. Uh, he's batting just 175. So pretty weak hitter. He only has 10 career home runs. So... Uh, a disappointing loss, uh, and the Chicago Cubs are probably the hottest team in the league. Of course, they had won eight straight games, uh, and they are only uh, three games back of the Brewers. Actually, now two and a half games back of the Brewers for first place. Uh, they won today 5-3 over the Reds and 
On Tuesday nights, they scored 20 runs. And then on Wednesday, they scored, I think, 16. So they scored 36 runs in in two games. So, And, yeah, they've won uh, 10 of their last 12 now. So they're red hot and just, like I said, two and a half games back. So anyway, Cardinals be back in action tomorrow night. Colorado Rockies come to town. Uh, they are dead last in the National League West. So, and currently have the worst record in the National League. So, uh, till Friday, the comments are saying go cards.